All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about rewriting some powers of I. And the main thing to remember kind of is the cyclical nature about powers of I. So I went ahead and wrote some down here. So I to the first, that's just I. I mean, anything raised to itself is itself. I squared, by definition, we say that I times I is negative 1. Well, if you think about I to the third power, we can write that as I squared times I. We know that I squared is negative 1, so if we multiply that by I, we'll just get negative I. I to the fourth, this is going to end up being kind of one of the ones that I use that's important to me. So I to the fourth, we can write that as I squared times I squared, but that's just negative 1 times negative 1, and that gives me positive 1. And likewise, notice if you do I to the fifth, that's I to the fourth times I to the first, which is 1 times I, you get I. Hey, we're back where we started. Okay, so again, one of the things that's important to me is if, if the exponent is a multiple of 4, so for example, i to the 8th, or i to the 12th, or to the 16th, or to the 20th, if the exponent is a multiple of 4, that's always going to equal the number 1. Okay, so that's one little trick I use when I, when I try to simplify these down. So. All right, so three little, or excuse me, three, five examples here. Um, again, just i's to kind of some big exponents. So in the first one, we have i to the negative 42. I'm going to write that as negative 1 times i to the 42nd. And again, I'm thinking, first off, um, is 42 a multiple of 4? And, well, I don't think uh, 4 goes into 42 evenly, but it will go into 40 evenly, it would go 10 times, and then I would need an i squared. Okay, so what do we have here? We've got negative 1. Notice i to the 40th, that's a multiple of 4, so based on what we said a second ago, that's just going to equal the number 1. We still have our i squared left over, but i squared is equal to the number negative 1. So again, our i to the 40th is turning into positive 1, and our i squared is turning into negative 1. Um, and now we can just simplify. It says we have negative 1 times 1 times negative 1. That's simply going to give us positive 1 as our solution. So negative i to the 42nd power is a weird way of writing the number 1. OK, so i to the 31st. I'm just going to do the same trick. I think. Does uh, 4 go into 31 evenly? And I say, well, no, um, but I think it would go into it uh, seven times, excuse me, seven times, which means we could use i to the 28th power. And then if we write that as i to the third, so again, 28 is a multiple of 4. It's 7 times 4. So that's just going to give us 1 times i to the third. And again, the way I really write this is now this is kind of a small exponent, and I just break it down. So I think i to the third, that's i squared times i. But i squared, we said that's negative 1 times i. And that'll simply leave us with a negative i. So, OK, so two quick examples there. Um, I'm going to do the other four examples, or excuse me, the other three examples, if I can count, um, in another video uh, really quickly.